so sorry. I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Uh, Mr. Marshall! Time. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy. <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better. Good day, Mr. McFarlane. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane. This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get down from there. You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says, you and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Come on, let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves and sheep clothing, all of them, rob you and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deeks, Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, 
They'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarlane, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spike me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Just look at Deke here. worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! you to meet the boy. Across the bridge. Not far to go now. Easy there. John. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind him. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. All right, sunshine. Let's move. I'm walking, goddammit. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals the hell's with the wrong law. With you. Oh my God. That one,
out of here. Are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? You ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. 
And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. I, 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 got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? I'm going to take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Keep to the left. We don't want to roll through town with these bodies. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. Oh my, it's them damn treasure hunters. Try and outrun them, partner. This is ours. Stop that wagon now or you'll be joining them. I'm going to look for the map back here. You try to shake those damn rednecks. Can't you see we're in a rush here? Eeny, meeny, mighty mo. All done with this one. Are you hiding something from Seth? Oh, you naughty little boy. Move them horses, damn it! Oh, look here, I found me a few bullets. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You're stiff as a whore. Relax. I just want a little look at you. Who's got a shit for sex? There's some bullets on this one. Better than a poke in the eye. Go left here, partner! Be rich beyond my wildest dreams. 
Maybe then. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? <laughs> oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. <gasps> Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? How you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> OK. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. OK, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. Check the back. Come on. We ain't got much time. Here we go. Come on, Seth. Mr. What the hell? I just kicked you. 
Oh, like him better dead! Sneaky sons of bitches! After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Ah! 
My mistake, sir. 